Oh, I got a there fish. There you go, one. Is it? <laughs> I have no idea what it is. Pretty good size, isn't it? Nice one. I think you do have one. It's a fish, Bobby. <laughs> Gotta catch them pretty fast. The guy don't show up till four o'clock in the afternoon. To go fishing. <laughs> well, I got one too. First hook up. First hook up is three. Look at that. Look at that. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. God, that's great. <laughs> oh my goodness. There's a fish. That's a pretty nice fish right there. Oh, Giant's not as big as that fish I just lost. I've got a hard situation out here today. That's just all I can say. <laughs> it is, uh, the wind is blowing hard. The good thing, the bad thing is the wind's blowing hard. The good thing is it's blowing out of the south. The other bad thing is it was super cold this morning. That's a good way to start right there though, sports fans. I lost one that was three times this size. I'm talking three times that size a minute ago. I'm on a big, deep smoothie crankbait. Look at that right there. But let me tell you, oh, boy, that's a cold sugar right there. Let me tell you, it was 28 degrees this morning. I'm trying to get up in the tail end of some of these pockets where I got a little bit warmer water. You're not gonna believe this water temperature. This water temperature has dropped 20 degrees in two weeks. 20 degrees in two weeks. It is 52 degrees. This grass. It's 52 degrees and it was, well, it actually was about 74 or 75 a couple weeks ago. But we've had two nights in a row, not one, but two nights in a row below 30 degrees. 27 degrees and 28 degrees. Two nights in a row. There's a fish. No, it's grass. That's a fish. <laughs> it's a fish. Thought it's grass. <laughs> Jimmy, no wonder you're not catching any. You can't tell the difference between fish and grass, you idiot. <laughs> hey, Jimmy, that's a good fish. Is that a crappie? No, it's a bass. It's hooked underneath. Oh, he's hooked underneath the mouth. That's the reason I couldn't tell it's a fish. Oh, God, that's a nice fish. Get in this boat. Good gosh, Jimmy. You can't. <laughs> Fish says, I've had a tour of your boat. <laughs> I've had a tour of your boat. Look at that fish. Boy, that a healthy fish or what? Look at that fish, will you? Now that's what I call a healthy bass. This guy's been working out down at the gold gym or something. Look at that, man. We've got to have needle nose. Lucky strike ought to give you needle nose with everyone. Look at that fish. Is that a healthy bass or what? Look at that girl, that is a big one. My goodness, boy their lips are cold in this 52 degree weather. That's all I can say. <laughs> yes, boy that, I'm gonna tell you, they're hitting so light. I, I didn't know if it's fish or grass. Even after I set the hook, I didn't know if it's fish or grass. I couldn't tell. I didn't know if it's a fish or grass. They're just, that fish swung at it and missed is the reason he hooked underneath the, the mouth, wasn't hooked in the mouth at all. That big one that I caught earlier today that got away was right out there on one of them long grassy points that goes way offshore. And and he was out in the wind. It was cold out there too. So much better back here out of the wind. I don't know if I can catch any fish back here, but so much better fishing. The fishing's better, but the catching's worse. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta go where the fishing's better. If you can catch a few, that's good. I believe them big ones are going to be way off of those long points out of where that grass falls off in 15, 20 foot of water. <laughs> I'll take fish like that one though. That's a good fish right there. God, I wish that great big one that stayed buttoned up. He was a dandy. There's a fish. God, you get one on there and you're not sure you even got one. That fish was up relatively shallow. That's a pretty nice fish too, by golly. Yeah. Dang right, that's a nice fish. That's a big fish. <laughs> that's a big fish. That's not just a nice fish, that's a big fish. 
Ooh, looky there. Looky there. Still not as big as that one that got off. That first one that got away. Oh, looky there. Man, that's a big fish. Looky there. Looky there. Golly. That's a big fish right there. You just got that one little treble. These hooks are so good on these deep smoothies. I'll talk about this bait here in just a second. I'll get that fish off there. The bait's made. Look at that fish. Look at that. Wow. Whoa. Wow, that's a big fish. <laughs> mm. Mm. I don't care if you got cold sugar, buddy. You're a big one. Mm. That bait is made in Fort Smith, Arkansas. An American original deep smoothie. Oh, right back to that deep water. Inexpensive crankbait, but it's a quality crankbait. It's got my famous red eyes that I put in all the baits I design. It's got red eyes. This is the big one. This is a 5 8 ounce. And uh, it's got incredible hooks on it. Great split rings. It's a good quality bait. You can see all the paint. I've caught a lot of fish on this very bait right here. And uh, I use the small one a lot. An American original deep smoothie. Absolutely the best crate make made. This portion of Jimmy Houston Outdoors has been brought to you by Mercury Marine. Go boldly. Jimmy Houston Outdoors, America's favorite fishing show, is brought to you by Tracker Boats. Call 1-800-TRACKER today. By Mercury Marine. Go boldly. By Soft Science, supreme comfort footwear for the angler by Shell Rotella, the engine oil that works as hard as you do. And by O'Reilly Auto Parts, better parts, better prices every day. There's one, a good one. Oh yeah, it's a good one. One of the things that you've got to do when that water cools down like it has, you're fishing behind these cold fronts. Oh yeah, God dogs, that just might be the smallest one I've caught. I thought he was the biggest one I've had. Dang, dang. I think he, a big one must have got off and that one got on. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that fish, but one of the things on these crankbaits that you gotta do when this water cools down like it has and gets cold into the winter time is you gotta get pretty deliberate with that crankbait. Don't just throw that baby out there and wind it in. And most of us use high-speed reels nowadays. I'm ashamed of that fish because I said, oh, there's a big one, there's a big one. Mm. I laugh at people when they do that but I swear, and I don't think he had any brush or grass or anything on him. I swear I thought that was a giant fish. God, dogs. Dang, Jimmy. But you want to get real deliberate with that crankbait. I'm gonna pull that thing, pull that thing slow, stop it a lot more. There's one, there he is. It's a nice fish, good fish. Way out on that point, I mean way out on that point. I'm talking way out on that point. Oh, that's a lot of fish to lift in right there. Sports fans, that's a lot of fish to lift in right there. Woohoo! Come here, baby. It's a way to break fishing rods. You got that thing down in there pretty good too, don't you? Ah, goodness. He's got one hook is all he's got. I don't want to get in the, I don't want to get in the gill plate there. Stick him with that. Let me get it out of there. <laughs> the, fit, the hook kept grabbing him. The hook kept grabbing him as I was trying to turn him loose. That's a good fish right there. Yeah, that's a good one. Boy, I want you to look how far out here we are. I mean, that wind is brutal. We're way out here off that point. Actually, I thought at that duck. <laughs> that's a secret I didn't want to really tell you. There's some little old diving ducks right there, two of them. Just for the fun of it, just for the fun of it, I thought I'd throw at them. They get a little tougher to catch, but they'll gang up. There's another one right there. That's the first place all day 
I've caught two fish in the same spot out there on that point. Another nice fish. It's the thing about fishing this time of the year, you're gonna catch quality fish. That's one of the smaller ones I've caught right there. Oh, nothing wrong with that though, Jimmy. Especially when I went forever without catching a fish at all. Another thing that I'm getting all the time, and I've talked about this before, but I'm getting a little bit further away. I can't get, if I just got this one little hook in there, I can't get it out, those hooks are so good. As I'm getting a little bit further away from, uh, from the cold front. And the wind's been out of the south, but I'm getting just a little bit further away from, from uh, that 28 degree weather this morning. I'm gonna have to put a jacket on, it's getting colder and colder. The little diving duck pattern. Throw at those two diving ducks. If one of them's under and one of them's up, throw for the one that's up. Behold the duck, it does not sup. It dines, it dines and swims in a puddle or pond. In a puddle or pond. When it dines or sups, it bottoms up. I destroyed that Ogden, Ogden Nash poem, didn't I? It's something like that. Behold the duck, it does not cluck. A cluck it lacks, it quacks. And when it dines, when it swims or dines in a puddle or pond, when it sups, it bottoms up. Something, I don't know. That's why I'm not Ogden Nash. <laughs> There's one. Oh, I stopped that bait and he hit it on the dead stop. I mean the dead stop. I hit a little piece of grass. When I hit that grass, I give it a jerk and stopped it. Oh, it's a nice fish. God, it's a quality fish. I mean, just barely hooked. I got a lot of bait sticking out of his mouth. <laughs> He's hooked good enough now. <laughs> He's hooked good enough now, though, by golly. Yeah. Well, oh, Jimmy, don't put your don't put your rod in the lake. <sighs> Boy, you talk about barely hooked. That fish is barely hooked. He's hooked good, though. Good enough. Yeah, look at that fish. That is a good fish right there. Look at that baby, will you? Boy, I've caught some nice fish. Not catching tons of fish, but I gotta get a jacket on, man. It's getting cold. It's getting colder. <laughs> That's one of the things you wanna do on a crankbait. Just kinda make that one of your rules of thumb. Anytime that bait runs into something, you feel it hits something, stop. Doesn't matter what. I don't care if it's a turtle. If it hits something, stop. I felt it hit just a little bit of grass. Felt like grass, I don't know, it might not have been. And as soon as I did, I stopped that. And when I stopped it, don't hit that bait solid, standing dead still. Jimmy's Look Back is brought to you by Tracker Boats. Call 1-800-TRACKER today. He come back and got it. I don't even look very good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, looky here. Looky here, yes. <coughs> All you got to do is ask, Jimmy. Asking you shall receive. I read that in the Bible. That's a good fish. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's a deal. Come here, Booger. Oh, yeah. Now we're cooking with coal oil. Yes, we are. The big ones may be just now starting to bite. Oh, yeah. Nothing wrong with that guy, I guarantee you. That is a good fish. That is a good fish right there. Yeah. You deserve a break today. Jimmy's Look Back has been brought to you by Tracker Boats. There's one. There's one. Oh, he come off. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. He just run toward the boat. He must have gotten the grass. Either that or he's a big one. He must have gotten the grass. Pretty good size. How big is he? How big is he? That's a big fish. Oh, yeah, 
that's the biggest one of the whole day. <laughs> well, I said I wanted to catch one more. Now that I caught that one, I want to catch another one. <laughs> Ooh, that's a big fish. That is a beauty right there. Look at that guy, will you? Will you look at that? What I do with my needle nose? Sitting on him. I wonder what that was. Felt pretty good. Ah, that is a big bass right there. I said I wanted to catch one more. I'm gonna get out there and catch one more before that sun got down below that mountain. And it actually, most of the places where I'm near, the sun's already down behind that mountain, but I kept moving out and moving out and getting in more open water all the time. And that's what happened when I did that. That is a big old bass right there. Look at the size of that critter. That is a big one. That is a big one. Well, I think I've had 12 hookups today. I lost one bigger than that this morning, and that's the biggest one I've caught all day. 12 hookups, pretty good. That's probably more hookups than a swinger in California has in a month. <laughs> Don't y'all comment on that. <laughs> Look at that, that's a big one. That's what I'm talking about, Lucille. That is the size you want to catch. Yes, yes, yes. All right, I said I was quitting when I caught one more. I've outlasted the wind, though. Have you noticed? In the last hour, the wind has gone from blowing to not blowing. It's getting cooler. It's going to get down below 30 again tonight. But what a day, and I've outlasted the wind. The wind has finally, finally, finally quit blowing. It's like glass out here. Couldn't be any prettier. I've just got a little bit until the sun's going to be completely gone. Can I catch one more? Oh, there he is, that's a fish. I thought that was grass and I hit it to knock the grass off. It's another big fish right here at dark. Boy, I, I whacked him, I, I hit him twice. It's a wonder he's hooked in the side. It's a, it's a wonder I didn't jerk him loose. I would never known I lost him. Not, not as big as that last one, but look out, look out. Uh, he sucked in the mouth, and when I jerked, I guess I jerked it down into the side of him. <clears throat> God, look how fat that fish is. Oh, man, that's a big fish right there. He's not quite as big as that last one. Right here at dark. The wind quit blowing. Just keep setting on those. I look all over for them. That's a big, pretty bass right there. He's not quite as big. Look at the belly on him. You think they don't eat those shad in the winter time? Doesn't have any tail sticking out of his throat. <laughs> nice. Jimmy Houston Outdoors is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. By High Seas, when the money's on the line. By Jackson Kayak. Advantage Fisherman. By Orion Coolers. Never lose your cool. And by Lucky Strike, where preparation and opportunity collide. Houston's Helpful Hits is brought to you by Jimmy Houston High Tech Performance Fishing Rods. Don't let fishing after cold fronts scare you. Um, without a doubt, difficult after a cold front but uh, if you can get a cold front that comes through and it's, it's like right now I mean we're we're not into winter yet we're into winter water temperatures which is kind of amazing but but we're not into winter yet but if you can get a cold front and we got bright bluebird skies all day today it's not been easy it's been hard but uh, but you get out and, and you got a big drop in the water temperature and and you just get out there and, and you think man it's gonna be a tough day well it is but have a positive attitude. Have an attitude that you can catch them. And let, let me tell you, try to look for areas that are offshore where you have shallow water. And if you've got structure, if you've got a lake that's got grass in it or it's got a lot of wood or a lot of rocks in it, try to find some of those places where you've got good structure that falls off into deep water. Now, points are the most natural thing to do. And you can take a crankbait and cover a lot of water with it. Use a crankbait that'll get down fairly deep. 
Uh, but now the fish are generally not going to be all that deep. They're not going to be way down there. But find you a crankbait, and, and just think about the fact that you need to run that crankbait a lot slower. You need to be more deliberate. You need to be more meticulous with it. Make long throws. I like to use about 12 or 15 pound test line during this type of situation. But uh, get that bait down there and just kind of work it through those areas. There's a fish right there. I missed him. Come back and got it. Come back and got it. That's a fish right there. Come back and got it. And that's the way you do it. <laughs> Woo, I love it. <laughs> And that's why you don't worry about, <laughs> you don't worry about cold fronts into fishing after a cold front. That's it. <laughs> oh, can you believe that? He missed that bait and come back and got it. <laughs> well, it's late in the day and the sun's getting low. Caught me a bigger but let him go. I sure had fun just watching him stretch my line.